or way of uh, following on from this talk, I'd like to invite Claudio de Souza uh, to come up. Um, we know each other well, we've worked together over a number of years, and Claudio has uh, been putting together with the team a lot of these things into practice. So Claudio, if you please click, come up. Is there an individual microphone thing? Claudio, you have been involved in youth ministry, and you are a youth ministry coordinator at one of our parishes. Just tell us a little bit about how long you have been at this parish, what the parish is, and a little bit about the life team experience there over the past three or so years. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Claudio. He's a bit sick, so just bear with me. Um, so, I'm from Maitland St. John's and we started Life Team there about three years ago now and when we started Life Team it was during COVID and you know, we had lots of challenges that, that faced us um, during that time, uh, first of all being the, the safety protocols and not being able to mix a lot and having to wear masks. Um, with that challenge uh, came you know, excuses and we saw that there was a huge disconnection with God and the church from the time that we had off from, from attending um, mass and having programs because of COVID. <clears throat> um, so with that, we, we, had, we had started with about 20 to 30 kids and in that time we had to obviously follow safety protocols and we found that with the disconnect and the, and the, the, the lack of knowing God and the lack of knowing the church, we had to start something. So we had proposed to, the, to our parish priest of starting the Youth, youth Alpha um, series and that got us going. So we, we started that with a few of the other catechists and we did that to start off Life Team. We normally called it Life Team but it was a Youth Alpha material. And with that we started to see a lot of growth. We started to see a lot of more teens were starting to appear out of, out of the nowhere. And that's, that's what started our momentum. And recognizing that, we saw that peer evangelization was very important. And it started to show that these teenagers were learning something at this Youth Alpha series and Life Team. And they were taking it home to their schools and to their friends. Once COVID had ended, we, we, we went full force into Life Team. And we, we started um, you know, with the proclaims and everything. And... And, and giving an experience to the teens. And we started to grow from 20 to 30 to 40 teens. And in the past two years, we, we grew up to about 50 teens. Um, with that, we then recognized that we didn't want this momentum to die um, after confirmation. So we started something called the contract at our church so that with our confirmation students, that once they were confirmed, they would have to engage in a ministry at the church or join and assist at Life Team for a year. And in the meantime, they could look and discover other ministries that they could be a part of. And it's proved to be quite successful. We have many teens in, that are sacristans in the music ministry, and a lot of them stay to become Life Team leaders. Um, with Life Team then came this great fruit that we did not expect, and that was we found a trend that there were many teens in our life team who had not been baptized, they did not have their first Holy Communion, and they were on the way to confirmation. And at the same time, we had a few young adults and about seven teens out of 17 um, come into the church, not knowing the church, not knowing what being Catholic is about, and not knowing youth. Um, when they came in, we thought that they were just there for the time, and one day I decided to walk up to them and say, hey, what is happening? Are you Catholic? Where do you come from? What do you do? So they said, we, we do not know the church. We heard through friends that this was happening, and, and we wanted to know what it was about. So I had the great idea, and I said, um, would you like to become Catholic? And all seven of them said, yes, we would. I went then to our parish priest, at the time which was Father Zane, and with the permission from the Cardinal and with assistance from our Faith Formation Coordinator, we started a phenomenon called Teenagers for Christ. And in a year, we, we managed to get all 17 teens um, and young adults to do their baptism, their Holy Communion, and confirmation for those who were 18 or older. Um, what, I want, what I thought was going to be a one-time effort 
has proven to, to not be. Um, this year we have two um, young adults that have come also by peer evangelization into Life Team wanting to convert to Catholicism. And at the moment we have about 70 kids um, at our Life Team. We average 50 to 60 every Friday night. And our confirmation, which will be the 5th of May, we have 24 teens with 20 of them um, being uh, part of the ministry already. And a lot of them are new teens that have just come from you know, peer evangelization and peers going up to them and telling them about what we are. And to just discuss the typical Life Team night, um, Life Team is basically a program that runs um, through with the church and it's based off catechism, scripture and tradition. And we follow a similar uh, structure to Mass, which is gathering, introduction, getting in together, playing a game, icebreakers, getting to know each other. We go into the proclaim, which is the teaching about God, about scripture, about catechism, traditions of the church. And then we go into a break group where we discuss questions that we may have for them or questions they may have for us. And then the most important part is the same, which is bringing it all together with reflection, prayer, um, lecture divinas, uh, adoration, benediction, um, confessions. We try and really take that part, the sin, and make it very important so that it can touch their lives. And it seems to be touching their lives. They are, um, we have many teens who have many great stories. And we hope that your churches can start this and, get these, and, we, and have those stories as well. We've really truly been blessed by God and by the things that have been happening at Maitland. And I pray that all your churches will also experience this miracle that we've also experienced. Thank you.